if you ever get close enough to Tibetan Buddhism and uh, analyze what it is that they are doing, which means that you have to pierce through the Tibetan language, because there the monks are sitting in the hall and they are singing and chanting, and of course you don't understand a single word of what it is they're saying. But allow me to to, me to assure you that what it is that they're doing is 90% based on the power of the word, on the power of invocation. Um, Tibetan Buddhism is a religion that is mostly based on this power of invocation. They use the word to invoke, to make real. And they have honed this to an incredible art form and they are very good at it. And uh, it very much works. Okay. Uh, the power of the word. Let me demonstrate this very, very simply and very easily. If I say to you right now, I love you. And you are beautiful. I really love who you are. Just to see you makes my heart be filled with joy. So, I'm invoking a reality right now. I just talk to you and I talk to you in a way that is very, very positive. And this, the power of my positive communication with you by emphasizing your beauty and how amazing you are, how lightful you are, how wise you are, how intelligent you are. I'm changing your reality. I'm just saying 60 seconds worth of words and in those 60 seconds I'm changing your reality completely. Now we all know of course that this works the other way around also. If, if you are with a person who speaks to you words of abuse and puts you down and criticizes you, then you begin to wilt like a flower, like a plant. You know, you just go, <laughs> you're going down, your, your heart heart turns sad just upon hearing these words um, I'm not going to say these words because I'm, I don't believe in uh, speaking negative words unnecessarily in case you know. um, I don't believe in criticizing complaining and throwing people down it's not what I, might, what I want to do I want to spend my time but there's a lot of people out there that are doing exactly that. And so I want to talk about movies today because a movie a movie is one of the most powerful demonstrations of the power of the word. Um, a movie is a powerful expression of a law of invocation that what you put out in this powerful medium to visually engaging uh, the audience, uh, engaging the audience in every which way by the spoken word, the super surround stereo, um, now with 3D, I mean, you, we, we are practically on screen, we forgetting ourselves completely and we merge with a movie. That's why we see movies, because they create emotions, they create realities for us. So I want to talk about how wonderful this medium is when really positive values are being transmitted and conveyed to the audience and how incredibly uplifting uh, a movie can be uh, because it creates a reality. But if this medium is what I believe to be misused, for instance, movies horror movies, movies that uh, have killing and murder uh, as a central theme, violence of incredible proportions as a central theme. What we're doing here is we're creating also a reality and we are projecting this reality out into the world. And I want to use a couple of examples to make my point here of movies that were created 
and that were extremely um, had the violence or negativity at its core and they actually created this reality directly and instantly uh, one of my favorite examples is um, uh, Walter Landau's movie uh, Twilight Zone the movie and there was one there was one uh, scene in there where there was a, um, a demon that was on the wing of the airplane and only one passenger um, on inside the airplane could actually see this demon sitting on the airplane's wing and try and chop it off and so that the, the, that scene was surrounding it was about a particular point a demon was trying to bring down an aircraft okay so the entire you know the entire uh, movie uh, crew was was busy in booking this this scene they were working on this scene they were trying to make it real and what I find really striking is the fact that in the making of this movie actually then a helicopter uh, crashed and killed two children who were part of the movie um, actors now to me to me this is like putting one on one together and saying uh-huh so you worked on this movie creating a trying to you try to create an airplane crashing and you, you know and you actually manifested it in real all right another very good example is um, Bruce Lee's son was killed in uh, the making of a crow I believe where this movie was amazingly violent so there was a incredible shooting scene going on um, it was just death and mayhem and one of the bullets and the guns that were used had a real life bullet in it and it killed Bruce Lee's son on the set now to me that's another incredible uh, demonstration of how powerful an invocation a movie is what you focus on it becomes it becomes real it becomes really real what you make in your mind what you think what you speak if you focus on it with strength and perseverance and determination your invisible thoughts will become unbelievably tangible so I think it's incredibly important that we focus on positive things in life that we create positive things that we speak positive things and that we do not make movies do not send into the world creations that are have violence as its central theme because what you're going to do you're actually going to make this violence which is just an idea in your head and you are trying to glorify it by making a movie around it because yeah the masses like it but you are merely adding more violence more to the planet of what we already do not need we already have too much of it so why go on making movies that are so murderous that are so negative and that are so painful just adding more pain to the planet so I'm inviting all the directors of Hollywood think about what you're doing a movie like Avatar was beautiful it was just you know really 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 good because it presented the options it presented to us the alternatives of how life could be it emphasized that yes it portrayed the war between the forces of light and the forces of darkness and yes this war is a reality and let's just hope that the forces of light are going to succeed as far as I'm concerned I vote in favor of light and beauty and joy and encouraging events to take place I would like to see more compassion um, I would like to see more wisdom uh, emphasized and projected into the world through um, the medium of movies and this is Andreas, my mate from Paris. Hope to see you again. And bye bye.